here we go. Is every game battle royale now, or is it just me? Oh, hello. There he is. Hello, hello to Day nine. Online. It's hello charming to as Welcome ever. To the PC gaming show. I'm usually not super interested in this type of game, but this is looking good. That is like the best title of a video game ever. Period. This kind of game is my jam. It's weird. It's striking. It looks like it has some pretty interesting ideas about gameplay and storytelling. I'll probably pick it up. Our next game, believe it or not, is in the battle royale genre. Of course, it's E3 2018. What do you expect? You're going to have to try a little harder than this to avoid the PUBG comparisons. Now, I want to immediately ask what about prove or excuse me, Maverick's Proving Grounds? I mean, they could have called it something games. that yeah, what said, it's a very didn't have grounds in there and didn't have like, uh, kind of game I don't know, be I don't know. Well, we've just it just sounds like right any now, other so Battle Royale game with beta, extra uh, stuff tacked now, onto it. I'm not so entirely convinced beta. yet. Figure out who's responsible for this. And maybe you can do what I never could. Game looks pretty. Save these people. I kind of get the vibe Save of one of those first person yourself. puzzlers, but I have a feeling I'm wrong about the that. Shall they showed that the, the game is kind of driven by characters and there is combat. And I'm just wondering what the mix of those things is. Now, I know I shouldn't be excited for this game. This game's promising the whole gigantic universe thing, and the last game to do that was No Man's Sky. And I'm also getting big spore vibes off of this thing. By all counts, this should be a disaster. But I'm still interested. Now, I know modding is going to be a big part of Star Control Origins. How does modding work? So what's your favorite science fiction show? What? Probably Firefly. Yeah, so what would you think of making Firefly season two? <laughs> Shit, that's a lot of pressure, what? Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're putting me on the spot on stage right now, yeah. He's like, he will start I'm to torn. have hallucinations. He will start this game looks good. Sounds. Yeah. Which will investigation mechanic sounds great no hand holding to, you know, step back but on the other mode. side right no hand holding i don't know if i'm smart enough to solve mysteries the next name is one i grew up with sega they've become a prolific publisher of japanese games known one late cheer for ports, sega especially beloved by this guy on the left good to know that sega's putting more stuff on pc PC ports are always a good thing, as far as I'm concerned. And remember, we'll see you I play Killing Floor airship. about once a year. I guess this will be joke for you. the time of year I Optician play it. Optician says my eyes are okay. I say, then how do you explain my husband? <laughs> oh my god, it's a shark simulator. So, hey John, so you get to play as the shark. You are the shark. This is an open world action RPG, or as we like to call it, a shark PG. There is a shark skill tree. There is a full single player campaign. You eat your way through it. I, I didn't realize this was a power fantasy I needed so badly. <laughs> Untitled publisher. Just because you acknowledge it doesn't make it better. This is a good look. This is a good art style. I'm liking this. Is it some sort of turn-based combat game? I'll keep an eye out for this one. I love turnips. Alright. Um, I don't know where this is going, but I don't think I'm getting more turnips. This is good pixel art. I've played a lot of games that have very similar, very easy to mistake for other games pixel art. This one looks pretty unique. I'm into it. Now there are two types know, of player however, who are going to pick up this game. There are the people who want to build a dinosaur theme park, and there are the people who want to build a dinosaur disaster. I am the latter. I'm always on the lookout for new games for VR. This one looks pretty good. Stormland, huh? Looks like it has some interesting traversal mechanics. A second cab driver investigation game. You know, that's what PC gaming really is 
all about. It's about driving cabs. Looks good. This game is very, very, very pretty. This is the most prettiest game I've seen in a little bit. I just don't know. I don't know how they could possibly make a game that lives up to this incredible amount of hype that they've built. I mean, at this point, the only way they couldn't be disappointing is if they actually gave you a real spaceship. We're also going to talk about some of the upcoming hardware trends. To oh, to PC it. hardware. From PC Acer hardware Air is a little bit difficult to talk about here, just because Stop if you're not familiar here. with it, now, it I just, just immediately sounds like a whole bunch of nonsense. That Predator X27, 4K and 120 hertz refresh, overclock to 144. G-Sync HDR. Well, there's a, quite a bit that goes into it. 384 individual backlit zones. Typical, you're looking at 300 to 400 nits. We're looking at 600 with the Predator X27 with a max of 1,000 nits. Color gamut, the 99% of the Adobe color gamut. 21 inch curved screen uh, laptop. How do you and close two it? graphics it cards. You, Science, we have materials, <laughs> we did. And it sells yeah. for $9,000. We sold every single unit we could make. Not once they just imagine what that would sound so the, like if you just didn't know anything now. about our oh. customers, partners are selling them. The bad news is anything about PC hardware. Out. This game looks right up my alley. A lot of these games are just right up my alley. A space sim with base defense and exploration and cool aliens. Looks good. Now, if you didn't catch the pre-show quiz, you might be wondering who my buddy is. Well, this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is Webster from Drake's Cakes. One of the I'm not exactly sure if this, this is a relevant a sponsorship. Cool for you. The Drake's Cakes I guess everybody away. likes cakes. Oh, yeah. Even PC Pax gamers. Is a gathering of the very lucky winner will enjoy a trip to Pax West, including two tickets and a free trip to Seattle. So if that's you, can I take Webster? On those dates. He looks like a fun I duck. Ghost Drive was pretty good, you know, from what I played of it. DLC might be worth picking up. We'll see. Just Cause Four. Seriously? And they have a brand new engine. They've been at level of like three of the shows so far. Up. Let's take a look at what the Apex engine and Just, Just Cause, Cause Four, Four man, getting that, getting that good coverage. But together, we might stand a chance. Overkills the Walking Left for Dead. This year, um, with the final season, we're, we're um, introducing uh, segments of unscripted combat. Does this mean yeah, see, they've see redone their right engine? Here. Yeah. So Clem because they've cranked out a lot of games <laughs> on that of kind of poor performing and, engine. Oh yeah. So we also. Oh, it's like it's like one of those uh, sand games where like you'll. You, you put the pixels down and they react with other pixels to make other pixels and they sometimes the pixels go away and sometimes there are more pixels and now it's a game I'm all I'm always down for a new roguelike joining me to talk about it are the two founders of two point studios to talk about two point hospital Join me in welcoming Dr. Webley and Dr. Carr. How does one run a hospital in Two Point Hospital? Ooh. Ooh. Audio tech going crazy. Wait, oh my gosh, is the stethoscope eliminating your microphone? We do this every year. Come here, talk to me. Okay. How do we run a hospital? So Two Point Hospital is a game about designing and... Uh, talk directly at my tie. Talk, yeah, this is, you said don't talk there. Yeah. I've got to look out here, you said. Yeah, no, just look so, straight at the ground. All right, we got Fantasy Royale checked off the list. We only really have like a million more themes to do. Next up is Caveman Battle Royale and Black Plague Battle Royale. I can't wait for this game to actually be out. Animal Crossing Pokemon Harvest Moon. Like, those are the three essential food groups. Ah, it's a nano game. I know that there are Joining me on the stage some Anno fans the out there. Producer I'm sure they're excited. 
Top down cyanide and happiness battle royale. Sure. All right. Can't wait for Star Wars Monopoly battle royale. It's gonna be fantastic. Hitman 2, looking good. I'm gonna have to pick this one up. How can you say no to a game that lets you dress up like that? Not a bad show. Sony next, then Nintendo, then we're done. Yeah.